Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Cypher Phonics channel. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Astray Noir. But today, I'm not going to be sound as excited as I used to be because honestly, last time when I built the, the band, Mars Jacket version, I kind of lost like interest towards like Bandai Astray because the band, they did a really good job. I can hear those clear click sound when I put in the joints and I can see those amazing details. Those amazing color separation. Looking back to Bandai's one, I just feel like, meh, it's a pretty average gamble. It's not like... Okay, let's just say it like this. Once you experience something better, it's very hard for me to go back to the normal ones. But anyway, as you can see right now, I didn't put on the backpack because as usual, for mobile suits that have large backpacks, I always have a round call, can you hold it? So... That's why I didn't put on the backpack right now. I want to test it with you guys. But anyway, speaking for the color only, I actually like this color better. This color right here looks really nice. Like the dark purple, gray and black and red going along like very well. I like this color a lot. Like right now, I think my favorite color scheme of the Astray is going to be the Astray Noir. As usual, I would like to go through what's the leftover. So this time, the leftovers is actually not that much. Most of them is just like a very small piece leftover. So I'm not bothering to say that. But uh, some of them, I threw it away because it's just not useful at all. And it's sort of like a really tiny piece. So I just threw it away. And uh, anyway, now let's look at the leftover parts right here. So this is the Eye Runner. So for the Eye Runner, we got the Rocket Archer hit right here, got left out. And that's it. And then for the A runner of the Astra Noir, our yeah, oh, no, 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 not the Astra Noir, the Strike Gundam Noir, Strike Noir. Uh, we got the antenna left out, and then we also have these pieces right here. I have no idea. And then we got the head cameras got left out, and then we also have these two pieces right here. I'm not sure which pieces are these. And we also got a J run that got left out as well. And unfortunately, all these hands options right here, they are not in use. And also, they are for the uh, Strike Noir, so I can't really use it. Because for the Astray Noir, they got a different hand color, and then they also have a different hand piece armor as well. So this one right here, the color is different. You cannot use it anyway. You can see that it's still got the Rocket Launcher, launcher position for the Strike Noir. So... Right now, for the J-Runner, I think the J-Runner had the most leftovers, and that's it. So now, let's go through the articulation. As usual, we're going to start with the head first. So this head right here, you can see that 90% of the details is actually from the normal Astra Universal Runners. Even the structure looks really the same. The only thing that is different is the colors and the gigantic antenna right here. But... Uh, FYI, this antenna is actually pretty easy to fall out, so I will recommend you, if you want to stabilize your antenna, glue it. But anyway, first, when we're looking at the overall structure of the Astray, because this antenna is actually really large and really thick as well, so it's kind of like blocking the eyes and the camera, so it's very hard for you to spot them. But anyway, that's another topic. So first, let's just go through the articulation, but for those of you that watch the Astray Blue Frame D, Review, you will know that Astray head, they pretty much got the same articulation anyway. So first lift up, lift down, and then we have to we have the turnaround and it's the same. And then the back camera right here is the foil sticker as well. And that's it for the articulation and the details. So what about the chest right here? The chest is actually exactly the same, just like any Astray variant. So there's not much things to talk about. If you really want me to talk about the difference, first, the color is definitely different. And then we also have two extra stickers right here at the top of the chest right here for the color separation as well. So, you know, let's just quickly look at this chest right here because there's nothing new. So I can't talk about it. So first, moving side to side and then move, because it's a big ball joint, you can move front and back and then a little bit side to side as well. And we can also open the cockpit as well, just like the usual Astray. But for some reason, this cockpit is actually pretty difficult to open compared to the Astray uh, Brewing D that I had last time. So just give me a moment. So let's just open it. And then you can see there's a pilot figure in there and is our dear mercenary, Dent Gorogini. So let's just take a look at the arms articulation right now. So first moving 360, lift up. 
And we also got like a very small limiting movement on the shoulder as well. But anyway, the lift up angle is not going to be as good as the Deban one because the Deban one have individual joints all over the shoulders and the arms as well. So it can lift higher. For the band down one, is very close to 90 degrees but not quite and we can also move to the front as well we can also bend the arms the whole arm can rotate we also got a little bit of movement at the forearm right here so we can adjust the uh overall hands movement and then we also have this full movable hand right here provided the thumb index and the rest of the fingers will be moving together as well Additionally, for the hands option, we got the trigger hand for you to hold the sword pistol and the beam rival. And we also have this weapon holding hand here for you to hold the large sword on the backpack. Let's just take a look at the waist right here. For the waist, it's pretty much the same, just like all the ashtrays. This one right here, because for those of you that understand the master grade, the front skirt is not going to lift up like the high grade or real grade version. Instead, they move to the side. So... Right now, you can see that the front skirt can move to the side to kind of like stop bumping into the legs articulation. But the side skirt right here is the original ashtray and is a ball joint and is really, really easy to fall out and it's kind of annoying as well. Turning to the back, it's just like the regular ashtray back skirt. So it's nothing special actually. So for the articulation, it's just pretty much the same. Just lift up a little bit and that's it for the whole waist. So let's take a look at the legs articulation right here. For the legs specifically, there's only one new piece. It's this extra storage right here for you to store the sword pistol. And that's it. Overall, the legs just look like the standard ashtray legs. So that's nothing new for me to talk about. So how about we just look at the articulation. So first, kicking to the front, over 90 degrees, really nice. Kicking to the back is it's a bit meh. It's a bit meh. And then kicking to the side is not even 90 degrees. So overall, the legs movement is pretty average. And as usual, because the legs is a poly cap, so it's really easy to fall out. And I actually don't like this design. As usual, as I just said, when I experience the, the band version, it's very hard for me to go back to the band ones because the band ones, the legs really easy to fall out. And it just doesn't feel good when I'm posing with the legs. So for the leg spending though, it's pretty average. It's just like all the ashtray that you saw before. So it's nothing new for me to talk about. So as usual, we got a double ball joint right here. The top run right here, the armor, you can move it. And then for the feet right here, you can move it as well. You can move side to side and it's a big ball joint. So you can move front to back as well. And that's it. For the Astray backpack this time, this time is just like the Brew Frame. D is a striker pack connector. It's a pretty normal thing. It's very hard for me to describe how amazing it is, but it still contains the feature where you can lower the backpack. You can lower the backpack and then you can move, extend it. And this feeling when you're extending the backpack is actually better than the Blue Frame D because remember when I was doing the Blue Frame D review, I told you that this piece right here is really fragile and it's really easy to snap in half and this one right here is hard plastic so it's very hard for you to break it unless you use brutal force so for this lower backpack position right here Astray Noah did a really good job before I go into the backpack I would like to go through the accessories part so first we got this pair of beam rivals right here but I need to tell you that beam rivals were not an official weapon for the Astray Noir. So this one right here just kind of rip off from the eye runner and then just tell you, hey, just use it. But anyway, this beam rival right here actually don't have much to look at. So first we got the scope right here. It's a foil sticker. And then the bazooka, you can just remove it from the beam rival itself. And that's it. There's no extra articulation, nothing interesting. So just letting you know that beam rivals were not an official weapon for the Astray Noir. And we also got a standing figure of Dan Gorgini holding two katanas. And we also got a pair of sword pistol. This is a really classic weapon for the Astray Noir. So for the assemble part, it's just uh, Strike Noir's pistols plus the katana from the Astray Runner and some new parts. So the new parts, just these two black parts right here. They are the new parts and the rest of it is pretty much the same. The scope right here is a sticker. 
But honestly, I think that this weapon looks pretty unique and I actually pretty like this design a lot. You can also store the sword pistol at the side of the legs right here. Let's play with the backpack before I put it on. So for those of you that had the Master Grey Strike Noir, this backpack right here is exactly the same, just like the one that you got from the Master Grey Strike Noir Gundam. So let's just actually take a look at this. This color separation right here is looking pretty great. So let's just take a look at the articulation first. So first we got the top wings right here. You can move 180. And then we also you can also move the main wings right here. And you can also just take out the sword or if you just do it gently, you can just kind of like letting the sword just hang here. We also got the rail guns. You can extend them and then you can turn them as well. The handle of the large sword can also be adjust as well. You can move the whole backpack as well. So the movement is actually pretty free. And then you can also move up, move down. And then you can also adjust the position of the backpack as well. And then you can also move a little bit side to side as well. Let's just rip off one sword from the backpack and let's just take a look at this. This is the gigantic sword on the backpack. We also got the beam effect parts to go along with it. So let me just quickly put them on. So you will have something like this. So I can say that mm, the beam effects looks pretty weird for some reason. So anyway, that's up to you. It's just in my opinion, this beam effect right here looks really weird for some reason. For the Noah Striker, we got two forms to play with. First form is called the flight form. And then the second form will be me showing you how to flip the rail cannon to the front and right now i just want to show you the flight form it's not actually that difficult so first you hold here and then you move the main wings and then move it to somewhere at around like this and then all you have to do is just gently lift up the sword and then also lift down the rail cannon and this will be the flight form and you do the exact same thing to the other side and it will be the flight form now i'm going to show you how to do the rail cannon form so first you need to move back the backpack and then you just move down the handle to somewhere like this yes to somewhere like this and then you move down the sub wings you lift up the whole backpack flip it to the front detach the rail cannon and then you flip it to the front. And now your backpack will look something like this once the rail cannon all face to the front. So you should have something like this. Now, this is gonna be my favorite part. I'm gonna put on a Noir Striker to see, can the Astray Noir stand by itself? So yes, it can stand by itself. All right, guys, this will be the end of the Astray Noir review. Thank you guys for watching this review. I just wanna give my quick summary about this MS right here, this Gampla. So. This Gampla got a really good performance and pretty awesome overall finish as well. And I'm also not buying the high rent version because I already said that generally, I just don't like that design right there. So for the Master Grade Asteroid Noir, I would just say it like this. Um, overall, the performance, the stability, and also the weapons, uh, everything is pretty fine. But the problem is that every time when I'm posing with the legs, the legs will just consistently fall out and it's really annoying which was why at the beginning of the video, I already mentioned that after I reviewed the, the band version, the Bandai version just to me is like a disappointment and it's really hard for me to get excited when I'm introducing it. But anyway, I'll just say about this. Overall, the finish is pretty good. If you like this design and you like this slim version of the Master Grey, I suggest you to pick it up as well because you know, it looks pretty awesome in my opinion. But as I said, Bandai old mode really is the pain in the back is that the legs will consistently fall out when you're posing with the Astray series. So just a quick note for you guys when you're trying to posing with the Astray Noah. Anyway, that will be my summary and thanks for watching this review. Thank you guys for watching this video and uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the like and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I'll see you in the next review. Goodbye.